We got off the ship right at 9, so about 15 minutes before they promised. And we're heading to the Conrad right now, right on the water. It's so pretty. We just got to the hotel and look at that Lambo. Oh my god. So our room's not ready, of course, because it's only it's only 9.45. So we're gonna hang out and go over to the beach. This is Conrad Hilton. Possibly six hours to wait. I should have put my swimsuit on because we're going to go sit in our beach chairs. And a long sleeve black shirt's not ideal. But Chris is in jeans, so I shouldn't complain. Disembarkation was really easy. We saw my sister and our other group mates um, getting off, and we may end up getting together. Pretty sure we're going to stick at this hotel because it's very nice. We're going to walk over to the beach. Our room comes with um, four hours of bike rental a day, and there are a few of the bikes straight ahead. There should be beach chairs over here that we can use. We're off of the ship, but at least we'll be at the beach for another day. There's the hotel. I think we're gonna be up there. Oh, it must be like a very bikey area. They even have a bike statue. Wow. We got a sand carpet. Awesome. Look at all these birds. I think there's a little attendant station. Hopefully they have towels, that would be nice. Good morning. Can we just take chairs or? Hey, you guys staying at the corner? Yeah. What's your number and last name? Uh, the last name's, I think it's 1606. So I'm gonna go get some towels and come to you. Thank you. Okay, we'll be in the front row somewhere. Wanna do those? Yeah, that are these ones, just right here. Thank you. Chris went to the Conrad gift shop to get a sunscreen. Miami for its repositioning and it's 
having crew parties all day today while they sail. All the staff is so excited. We're at the hotel restaurant. <laughs> Thank you. I got huevos rancheros with salmon, and Chris got a burger and fries, and then I got bottomless mimosa. It was $19 for unlimited mimosas, so I got four mimosas, and plus the salmon benedict, Chris's drink, and his burger, it was $60, which is pretty reasonable, I think, for a waterfront restaurant like this. And we're going to go back to the beach because we still haven't heard that our room's ready. Pace car for the Indianapolis 500, and then the Lambos on the other side of that Dodge. I don't know why they parked that Dodge here, like it's very nice, but. We're heading to our room. 16. Wow. Oh, they don't have a level 13 here either. love the decor. I think we have two balconies actually. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, I need to take some pictures and send them to my sister and have them come over here like now. Okay, I'm standing on the balcony putting on my sunscreen and I see there's a minion on the balcony over there. Can you see him? I just placed an Instacart order. I got tonight and tomorrow night's dinner. I got snacks and we're gonna be totally set. They're gonna be here within two hours. So we're running down to the pool. I'm having a glass of the wine that we got with our cabin on the cruise. We never opened it. So I brought it with us here. Instacart order is almost here. Chris is waiting out front of the hotel for him and a Chevy Camaro just crashed in front of the hotel at, an, at the hotel next door. So he's watching the ambulance and police response while he waits. And I have my little swimsuit thing on, so I'm just gonna wait up here for him because he has the room key. I talked with my sister, they're at their hotel doing dinner and everything with their friends and we'll probably end up just going to the beach with them and maybe doing dinner tomorrow. Awesome. Okay, so this is our Instacart order. We got six eggs, um, a couple of these little dinner kits so I can just throw them in a saucepan and make it and then do a couple rolls. Prosciutto to have with cheese and crackers for a snack and lunch tomorrow. Teriyaki, which is or beef jerky, which is mainly for while Chris is traveling, if he'll even eat it. Um, Brussels sprouts to have with the pasta and salad, dressing, croutons, and cheese for that. And chips to snack on. So that makes our food here way more cost effective than if we were to go out and eat each meal. So I'm gonna put this stuff in the fridge and then I guess we are gonna run down and hop in the hot tub. There is not a frying pan, but there is a little pot. I probably should have gone with the bigger one, <laughs> but I'm gonna cook this on low 
while it uh, thaws out. And then I'm making Brussels sprouts and rolls. All right, dinner is done. Brussels sprouts, pasta, and rolls. It is pretty early still. I think like eight something. I'm getting red lips. I'm still having some of this. Um, we're just sitting on our balcony, which is so nice. But they have crazy rich Asians on, on demand. So I think we're just gonna chill up here in the room and have an early night. Tomorrow, um, we'll be going down to the beach, possibly meeting up with my family. There's a, a hotel nearby that I've thought about showing you guys and telling a story to you. One of my most embarrassing moments in my life happened at that hotel and it's up the road a ways and um, it's one of my sister's favorite stories to tell people because it was so mortifying to me. So um, we'll see if we can catch a cab maybe and, um, and I can give you a look at what happened there because it was epic. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is 9.30. I'm going to try to use this Nespresso machine. Actually, it's Lavazza. It's different than the one we had on the Norwegian Jewel. So, let's figure this thing out. Okay, let me get a water bubble. The water here is yellow, so we use bottom water. Rotundo and decaf. Oh, I only get a half a cup. That sucks. What does this button mean? We need a lot more pods if that's what we get out of one. I'm gonna try again with the other setting. Let's see what that one does. What is going on here? That is an absurdly small cup of coffee. Ugh. I don't like this machine. That is stupid. I had to call the front desk and ask if there's a way to get regular coffee out of this, and she said, no, you can place an order for in-suite dining if you want regular coffee. What the hell kind of sweet is that? So my sister just messaged, they are gonna have breakfast and then head our way. Um, so we're gonna head down to the beach and then just probably relax here in our room since we have so much space and our balcony has seating for seven. And then that's not even counting the second balcony. Um, I'm gonna just load the dishwasher with the stuff we used last night and tidy up a bit. And we're gonna start the day. We are heading down to the beach right now. There's that Corvette. New Porsches here, two Bentleys. I love to come down here and just see which cars are parked. It's so nice. But anyway, we have two beach chairs that we get from being guests here. But since my sister and Teth are coming, we're not sure if we'll be able to get them seats. We're going to try, but um, if nothing else, we'll just put towels on the sand around our two chairs and call it good. So we came down and asked if we could get extra chairs. $30 for two chairs and $50 for um, two chairs with an umbrella for the day. Gang's all here. I'm gonna go show you how this water is shallow all the way out. Like, well, you can see that guy out there. He's so far and not even past his shorts. Let's go. Did you find wet sand? You find wet sand? Did you have fun on the cruise? You like the beach, huh? Are you yeah, because it can go in the water. So I'm gonna go show them how deep it gets. Did you go in the ocean? Well, our hotel is right here. So we were sleeping here. That's why we weren't at your place because we didn't plan it to be in the same place. Next time we will. You can meet my kitty. 
Yes, Nula and Lively and Smokey. Your kitties are very sweet. They fight? <laughs> yeah, they're called cat fights, but they love each other. Yeah. yeah. Okay, watch how far I can go out without getting up to my waist. I'm so scared for sharks. Woo. Someone said they have jellyfish too. I'm not even up past my leg. I don't know if you'll be able to see under the water. Oh. I'll try to dunk you. Oh. Let's see, these waves are intense though. See if you can see anything. There is our hotel and I just found a third balcony in our room this morning. I thought we had two. Ooh. Anyway, it's beautiful and it's our last day. Ooh. Pretty awesome. All right, we're up at the pool now. I'm gonna go get a drink from this bar over here. seen this part yet. Very nice. A sun deck. Very nice. Thank you. Um, I haven't ordered yet, but you can have some of that water. Kids menu. Thank you. I'm in 1605. Um, yes, please. What did you order? Mango mojito. We've been down at the beach and the pool all day, and we're gonna go up and cook up all of our groceries and just chill in the room for the night. And then Chris leaves in the morning early, so I'll be here by myself for a while. We are upstairs now, and we're gonna cook yeah, and chill. Yes. Me in the hot tub. We came with the, you in the hot tub. She wants to put her in the bathtub. Oh, that's a that's like a swimming pool that bathtub. Okay, so I'm cooking dinner. Got cheese and crackers and prosciutto out for everyone to snack on. Wine, rolls, Brussels sprouts. My sister is trying to film the room without herself being shown in any of the mirrors. <laughs> it's a pretty amazing room. Milana's taking a bath. Started going up on the chairs and doing that in the middle, trying to like kind of copy what they're doing. All right, it is just about um, 10.20. I have 40 minutes before I need to be out of the room. I just finished the final walkthrough tour of this room so I can make a video. I definitely recommend this hotel. Um, the only negative to me was that the coffee pot sucks. It doesn't make regular coffee, it only makes espresso. But somehow I have managed to still drink it, so can't really complain there. Um, it's a beautiful room with an amazing view. They are building um, right out here where we have, or no, right there where we have the best ocean view, um, a new Four Seasons residence location. So the view may end up being impacted by that. But for right now, um, you can't really get better than this. And the price was great. I did a lot of searching in the area for waterfront hotels 
and this one was on par with the rest except for that the hotel uh, resort fee included an umbrella with the two beach chairs so um, a lot of the other hotels only have two beach chairs and then you have to pay twenty dollars extra per day for a, an umbrella anyway thank you guys for coming on this trip with us chris's flight is in 50 minutes my flight is in five hours so i have a bit of time to kill i didn't request late checkout i probably should have but i'll just go to the airport and probably attempt to weasel my way into a lounge because i do have first class tickets oh my gosh i dreamt last night that i got to sit in a pod seat for first class which is what i was promised when i got my tickets but the aircraft has changed and now i have to sit next to somebody which is just first world problems if you've ever heard of them but yeah i will show you my travels home and hopefully they'll be better than the trip here where we had the really long layover. I'm gonna stop in Texas for a couple of hours before I switch over to my second flight. And then I get home after midnight, almost 1 a.m. And it's also election day. So it's a very exciting day happening. And I'm going from 85 and sunny here to 45 and rainy at home. And I'm actually looking forward to it. I hope that you'll subscribe to this channel. I've been really working toward my first thousand subscribers. I'm at 451 right now as of today. I really hope you enjoy watching my vlogs. I try to be informative and share our experience so that it can help you if you're gonna be traveling and you are wondering uh, what place to stay, what ship to go on, what cruise lines, are gonna fit what you want in a vacation experience. Anyway, thank you again for coming with us. I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you next time. I'm through security, I still have four hours before my flight, but I couldn't check my bag until I was within the four hour window. So now I'm waiting about 10 minutes for a seat at Chili's. And then before my flight leaves, I need to find a place to plug in because American Airlines planes, even in first class, they don't have electronic plugs. And this airport doesn't have an American Airlines lounge, so that's why I'm here at Chili's. I ordered the uh, triple dipper, which is an appetizer sampler, with these burger bites, buffalo boneless wings, and these um, honey chipotle dippers. First things first, let's buckle those belts. Just in case of unexpected turbulence. <laughs> to get us on our way, make sure you're seated up, all electronic devices are put away, and your tray table is so.
Dallas Fort Worth. The local time is 7:18. Uh, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. You're still going to be in the Okay, we're boarding. 1A, I've got like a front row. And we'll be home. It's one in the morning at home, so it's like four in the morning where I left, but I made it. And that's the end of another vlog. Thanks for coming with me. See you next time. Welcome to Seattle. There's my ride. Or another Camaro that got roped into being here at one in the morning.